All right, since we now have a mechanism for how boldness can be inherited, we might be closer to deciding if our model of natural selection that we developed for explaining how bacteria became more resistant with Addy might also apply to explaining how the San Diego juncos became bolder than the mountain juncos. But something still seems hard to explain, right? If boldness is something a junco is born with, and each individual junco isn't changing their boldness in a lifetime, then how in the world did the UCSD population end up becoming bolder than the mountain population over the last 60 years? Is it something we think our natural selection model we developed for explaining how bacteria become more resistant over time can explain, also explain, if you remember a few years, lessons back, our um, model that we've been adding to, what, if anything, would need to be different about it? So some things to think about, or we need to think about are, could our natural selection model from bacteria explain the boldness in the juncos? What is the relationship between boldness and CORT? If we figured out the CORT is something that is inherited, what does that mean to you? If CORT is inherited, what is the relationship between boldness, CORT, genetics, and inheritance? So think about those things and I'll write out the questions for you and then we'll continue with the lesson.